So Harvest One converts all outstanding debentures to ordinary shares and maintains 80 million in cash positions. What does this mean? So like six days ago, April 5th, from Canada Newswire out of Vancouver, Harvest One Cannabis Inc., otherwise known as HVT, is their symbol on the TSX venture. Harvest One or the company is pleased to announce that further to the company's news release dated February 23rd, 2018, all the outstanding debentures have been converted into common shares of Harvest One. As a result, the company currently has 154,952,498 common shares outstanding with no debt. I repeat, no debt. <laughs> so, so these guys have no debt. That's right. $80 million and no debt. I kind of like that. Harvest One has a robust cash position of approximately 80 million, representing approximately 0.52 cents per share. What does this mean? I think this is a buy. Now, it can go lower. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. I am not a licensed advisor. What's up? What's up, Christine? How you doing? Debt free. $80 million in the bank. So... I mean, this is not like a no-brainer. And under a dollar. That's right. Under a dollar. Can you believe that? Let's look at it. Under a dollar. It's at 84 cents. So you're telling me I can get into a licensed producer out of Health Canada. Let's read some more news that they've been putting out here. I got lots of things to look at with this company because I think it's a winner. Harvest One Cannabis Inc. HVT on the TSX Venture through its wholly owned subsidiary United Greeneries is pleased to announce the launch of its retail platform and initial sales of their two brands, Royal High and Captain's Choice. As previously announced on January 8, 2018, United Greeneries has launched medical sales in February 2018. The fully developed branding was released earlier this week and the fully functional e-commerce platform is currently online. Please visit United Greeneries website at unitedgreeneries.com for further information on our products. And then they go on to break down these products. And I like it. I like it a lot. Captain's Choice Trademark United Greenery Signature Product line Captain's Choice Trademark consists of blended high quality grown flowers. Captain's Choice TM will be available in the varieties Indica, Sativa, and High CBD. United Greenery's specialized blending and grinding process results in consistent product quality and reduced production costs that the company will be passing on to its customers. How about Royal High TM? The company's premium brand, Royal High TM trademark, will feature prime quality full cannabis flowers of selected varieties, initially consisting of Serious Kush, Great White Shark, Super Skunk, Eight Ball Kush, CBD Tonic, Serious Kush, Northern Lights, and Chocolope. Several other varieties are currently in production. Like, do you guys believe what we're reading here? 
Oh my goodness. This is too good, man. This is too good. If you guys are not getting excited about the future, like this company right here, I'm telling you guys, is at 84 cents. They have $80 million in the bank and no debt. So I want to show you guys something, how I analyze these companies. First of all, I like to read about them, obviously. That's the first thing you should be doing when you're investing in any company, okay? But what I like to do is I like to look at their 52-week low, which is at 47 cents. And I like to look at their 52-week high, which is at $2.20 on January 8th. So where do I think this company is going to go long term? Well, with $80 million in the bank and no debt and 154 million shares issued and outstanding, I believe the reason why they've been going down is that people have been selling. So you can see that they went up and like I said, they went as high as $2.20. Just look at the chart here. The 52-week high is 220, and the 52-week low is 47 cents. So we're closer to the bottom for this stock's history. So if you're buying from 40 to 80 cents, you're probably gonna do well because when it does spike and have an explosion or a dead cat bounce and have a big day or a big month or you know start to really move forward like most good companies do over time you will see it go back to 220 and when it goes back to 220 if you get into 84 cents or as low as 47 cents if it gets there which would be a 52 week low that would be the perfect time to be buying because you're learning how to be buying at the bottom of the chart not at the top of the chart if you're buying at the bottom of the chart and you're investing in good companies that have a license from health canada you're giving yourself a chance to succeed i like to look at the chart Look at it over a year, okay? So as you can see, it's been as high as 220 just recently in January, and we are in April. And see how it's come back down? It's been lower, but it's also been higher. So when you're investing, you don't want to be buying at the top of the chart. You want to be selling at the top of the chart. You want to be buying at the bottom of the chart. So if you can get in at a chance, you know, and what it's showing on this chart over the last year is that 47 is the lowest it's been in the last year. And right now we're at 84. So we're closer to the low lows than we are to the high highs. So whenever I look at a chart, I always look at the high high, which is 220, and I look at the low low, which is 47. And I look at the chart and say to myself, okay, what is gonna happen long term? Long term, this company has a license, they have no debt, they have millions of dollars in the bank, people are selling, taking the price down. Eventually, when everybody's done selling and these companies decide to explode, that's your opportunity. When it goes back up, that's when you need to be selling. You can't have the mentality like it's going to go to the moon because you can see with this chart, like everything goes up and then it comes down. And I can show you every single chart. They all look like this. Let's look at Canopy Growth Corp, which I call the LeBron James of medical marijuana stocks. And it's a 24% sell on bar chart as you can see so you know be careful with what you're investing in right now because it's very choppy this is still saying there's a lot of selling pressure but if you look at his chart overall you can see it's actually held up pretty good and if you look at it over the last six months or over the last year you can see it's still way up so if you look at the low low and let's just say it's 650 on June 7th, 2017, and now we see it at 2786. So if you were to draw a line from here to here, you could see it's still way up. And it's high high has been I think it was 44. So let's just say it's around 44, 42 even, and you draw a line down, you could see that canopy is actually held up really really good. But then I could show you other stocks that have really come down. Like I personally own this one, Abcan, and I like it, but look at it, it's a 72% sell on bar chart. So what that's telling me, it has a lot of downward pressure. Now, if you look at his chart over the year, you can still see it's up. It's been way lower. It's low, low of 81 cents. And right now it's still at, you know, $1.41. So unfortunately, I got up here. I got all excited because I wanted it. I made money got in here, sold here, and then got re-entered again here, and now it's down here. So I'm going to have to buy more to lower cost, to lower my average cost. 
I've already started doing that, but it's just been going lower. So I'm just waiting for the bottom, waiting for some strength. But based on this chart, I think the bottom is going to be nearing hopefully soon and closer to legalization of recreational marijuana is when I think that we will see it explode. We will see these marijuana stocks explode. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? Please comment down below. If you like the video, smash the like button. Let me go through some of you guys' messages. Uh, Christine, lots of room and money for expansion with all their plans. I agree. With all these companies joining in, you think it's going to create a glut. I don't think it's going to create a glut. I think there's a lot of room for growth for everybody. I really do. I think there's a lot of room for growth. This is the marijuana index. Take a look at this. So the North American index right now, let's make sure we refresh and everything is updated as much as possible. So the North American index is up, right? You can see that we had a really big down early yesterday and it just kind of, kind of just exploded back up. So we're kind of climbing back up here, actually across North America, but look at the United States. The United States market is strong. The U.S. is strong right now. Meanwhile, the Canadian index is actually showing some signs of life after being really heavily down. It's been climbing back up. So I think we are starting to show some strength here, some signs of life. I don't think it's going to be huge. I think the big explosion will happen in the fall and in the winter, which is what has happened over the last couple of years. That's my prediction. I hope it happens sooner. And if you look at the top gainers, you can see Hydropothecary up 10.7%. So this is one that's been staying strong in this market. And Leaf, Medrelief at $16.87, still up 8% today. So there are some winners out there. Let's take a look. The HMMJ ETF is the indicator I like to use when looking at these markets. Afria up 2.6% today. HMMJ up 1.8% today. Harvest One just right at 84 cents. Weed, Canopy Growth Corp at $28 up 1.7%. So not a lot of strength, but still holding strong. Aurora Cannabis, well, I love Aurora Cannabis at only $8. I think this is a huge bargain. I really do. Um, but I think it could go lower, but I still love this company at this price up 2.8% at $8. It's such a great opportunity. Leaf at $16.85. Medrelief, look at the chart on this, up 7.9%. So we've got some huge winners here today. THCX. Hydropothecary Corp. Up 10.7%. Wow. A monster. THCX, I haven't really looked into them much, but they're definitely a company that has to be on your radar. Traded 5.9 million shares at 3.9, wow, $3.93, unbelievable, up 10.7%. A monster today, unbelievable. So I own a lot of these stocks, okay guys, I really do. And what do you guys think? Do you guys like these companies do you guys have some companies that you're looking at please let me know let's see let's see yeah hemco we should take a look at hemco 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 food and fiber a dollar thirty-seven. Let's take a look at Hempco. Let's see what all the indicators say about Hempco. Hempco Food and Fiber. H E M P in Canada and H M P P F in America up five percent today. It's a weak buy, but it is in the green, which is good. All the indicators looking positive. You can see that they're still up 30% in the last month, up 38% in the last three months, and 414% in the last year. So even though they are not even close to their 52-week high, they're kind of you know on about 41% of where they should be on their chart. Like 
if they were to get on their 52 week high, you'd still have huge upside here to make money. So hemp, I think could be a huge winner, like massive. I think it has huge potential. I really like this company. And at these prices, yeah, it could go lower, but I think long term, this is a good company to keep your eye on. Put it on your radar, put it on your watch list. H-M-P-P-F in America, H-E-M-P in Canada. Hempco Food and Fiber, Inc. I like that one. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Christine. RTI, yes, let's take a look at RTI. RTI, let's go to RTI. If you guys have any picks you want me to look at, please let me know. I'm interested to see what you guys want to look at. I own Radiant Technologies at $1.29, up 2.4%. Let's look at RTI. Sixty-four percent weak sell. See, it's at the bottom of the last three month chart. So it's definitely nearing a bottom here. Still up on the six month chart and way up on the one year chart. I really like RTI Radiant Technologies. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you like Radiant Technologies? I think legalization will cause a stock market rally in the fall in Canada. And if you look at the charts, historically Canada has always the Canadian medical marijuana and licensed producers here in Canada, all the big ones and all the small ones, have always exploded in the fall of 2017 and 2016. Just look at the charts. You can see it right here. Look at that. Isn't that uncanny? Boom. Boom. Look at that. In the fall of 2017 and the fall of 2018. Look at that. Radiant Technologies. Let's look at Canopy Growth Corp. Let's look at Canopy Growth Corp. 24% sell. Let's take a look. Look at their chart over the year, five years, boom. Look at the fall. There it is. Like you can really, this, this chart doesn't really show this, but 2017 especially, boom. Fall, winter, and now here we are again, 2018, boom. So the chart's just unbelievable. And that's Canopy Growth Corp. And that's the kind of chart you can expect with all the other licensed producers that are coming behind Canopy. So that's why I love this industry. You have to be patient. It's not going to be just like a full ride up. I wish it was. There's going to be peaks and valleys. There's going to be ups and downs. Even Canopy has come back down from its high highs, but it's not even close to its low lows. So you have to really kind of take that into perspective when you're investing in these companies. You have to understand that you've got to invest for the long term. Because if you're thinking long term, you will win if you're investing in the biggest and the brightest opportunities. The licensed producers in Canada and the United States that are operating in jurisdictions that are licensed. Those are the companies that we focus on. Those are the companies like Harvest One. And Harvest One it says here, by converting our remaining debentures, our balance sheet is now completely debt-free and provide us with additional interest savings, stated Andreas Godian, CEO of Harvest One. Considering the recent market correction and the corresponding decline in our share price, we see our current cash position as a significant strength and we are confident that the company is well positioned to fully execute on our planned initiatives both in Canada and internationally. I think this company is poised to really explode and you really need to add it to your radar and put it on your watch list. I do own Harvest One Cannabis and I am going to accumulate more 
And I believe based on its chart, it's closer to its 52 week chart on its low end than it is to its 52 week high chart. So there's a lot of upside, a lot of blue sky for this company. And I'm talking about its fundamentals, money in the bank, real business, licenses. Let's read about it some more. Harvest One is a global cannabis company focused on delivering high quality initiative cannabis products and technology to regulated markets around the world. Our shareholders have significant exposure to the entire cannabis value chain through three business units with Harvest One serving as the parent company over horticultural arm United Greeneries and medical arm Satafarm AG. Harvest One's businesses are all strategically located in favorable jurisdictions with supportive regulatory frameworks in place. United Greeneries has a Canadian ACMPR, and I say this all the time. The ACMPR, that license is gold. Cultivation and sales license, making Harvest One a unique global company with the capacity to commercially cultivate and sell medicinal grade cannabis in a federally regulated environment. This is what makes this company special, guys. You're at 84 cents and you have a license to sell with $80 million in the bank. That's a lot of eights for me. And I like that number eight. And I think this is a buy. And one day you're going to remember this video and you're going to go, I remember that video from that guy, Rich. And it was April 11th, 2018. And I put this company on my watch list. I put it on my radar and I started investing in this company one day because I loved it. Not because I heard about this guy because he doesn't know what he's talking about. But he did, he did mention this one company and I looked into it and I did my due diligence and I did my research and they had all the, I did all my, checked all my eyes. You know, but, you know, dotted all my eyes, and I just, you know, I made sure that everything was the way I wanted it to be. And I tell you guys, long term, this company is gonna be a monster, monster, a global company at eighty four cents with licenses. My goodness, making Harvest One a unique global company with the capacity to commercially cultivate and sell medicinal grade cannabis in a federally regulated environment. I love it. Love everything about it. So remember, this is, you know, there's forward-looking statements in this. This is this is just the press release that I'm reading to you guys about Harvest One. You know, they haven't hired me. I am an investor in the company. I'm not going to lie. But I'm invested even much higher, to be quite honest with you. And I'm just holding my position because I like the company. Will I buy more? Yeah, I'll probably buy more, lower my cost. I'm just going to continue to watch it. It doesn't have tons of strength. As you can see, it's an 88% sell, which is crazy. So you don't need to go run out and buy it. But, you know, definitely add it to your watch list. Put it on your radar. It is licensed, and it's been much higher. And you can see it's kind of at the bottom of its chart over the last three months. So I definitely think it's a buy long term. I will be watching it. And please let me know what you guys think. Uh, let's see. Ticker is HC. When is TGOD's IPO? You know, that's a good question. They came out saying it was going to be on March 19th. And they even put a press release saying it was going to be March 19th. But I think because of the economic environment right now, how everything is kind of on a down, I think they've decided to hold out. Christine says she feels confident it's a buy. Yeah, I do agree as well. If prices, Cyberworld says, if prices stay the way it is to legalization, then it might rise. Uh, I don't think that if, I think the rally is going to happen in the fall regardless of legalization. But if legalization happens at the end of the summer or in the fall, it's going to be a catalyst. Because it's to, historically, that's when they've exploded anyways. You can look at their historical chart. Like, look, November. Harvest one. And then it just starts to explode. And then it goes to $1.28, comes back to $1.08. Then it 
Then it goes to $2.03. And now it's come all the way back down. So you can't be greedy when you're trading. You've got to buy low, sell high, learn to buy at the bottom of the chart and sell at the top of the chart. If you can buy at the bottom of the charts and sell at the top of the charts, trading can change your life. That is the key. Buying at the bottom of the chart, selling at the top of the chart, and not being emotional. Not getting emotionally attached to these assets. When you get emotionally attached, that's when you can make mistakes because you can always buy them again. Nothing's stopping you from buying it again the next day. So that's my two cents. I really like Harvest One. Please, guys, if you like this video, smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more updates. If there's any stocks you want me to analyze or review, send me an email, richtvlive at gmail.com, or comment down below, and I will look at it. And if it's newsworthy, I will definitely give you a shout-out. I will do a review. And thank you for watching, guys. This is your boy, Rich, looking at Harvest One. Here's some of the top trending medical marijuana stocks. Here's some of the losers for the day. But I don't think any of them are losers. I think they're all great companies. So let's take a look one more time at Afria. Still up 2%. Radiant Technologies up 2%. Harvest One just right at 84 cents at break even. Canopy Growth Corp up slightly 1.3%. Some of the big boys today, THCX up 10.7%. And MedRelief up 7.5% and holding strong. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I got to go back, do some more due diligence. Got to do some more research. Got to find more winners. But this one right here, I like it. 80 million in the bank, no debt, people selling shares, we get it. I see that's why it's going down, guys. I get it. I know what's up. I see what's up. Remember, all outstanding debentures have been converted into common shares. That's why it's been going down. Once everybody's done selling, I see green sky. Remember this day, April 11th, 2018. The boy, your boy Rich, told you about Harvest One. A big winner. If you're not winning, you're not watching. All right, everybody, I'm out. Peace.